Joining us now on MSUEagles.com is the head football coach at Moorhead State, Matt Ballard. Coach, congratulations on a great win today. The Eagles top Valparaiso 76-24 in the season finale. And I know, I know you've got to be pleased with a lot of different areas, offense, defense, and special teams today. Absolutely, without question. I, I think, you know, today just kind of went uh, right along with uh, our preparation during the week. Uh, we had a great time, a lot of fun. Our guys were really zeroed in and focused and worked hard. Our preparation was, was the key, just like it always is. Uh, it's nice that that shows up out here on Saturday afternoon. And uh, we just talked about it being a 60-minute game. Let's put a complete game together uh, in all three phases, connected with your offense and defense. And, you know, the uh, I guess the, the best thing about it is you just had so many guys uh, making such a big contribution and making – uh, a lot of plays and uh, a day like today is a lot of fun and we uh, very proud of them. We take our hat off to them. Your team jumped out to a 34-0 advantage early in the second quarter. I think we counted six different ways your team scored today. Passing touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, interception return, fumble return, kick return with the lateral mixed in, extra points. I mean, you guys did it all today. You know, that, that part was kind of crazy. I mean, a fumble return for a touchdown. Uh, I don't know if we've even had one of those since I've been here. Uh, it was great to see the interception return. Uh, we felt like that on the kickoff return that uh, uh, that was a given for us if we just ex executed it. And, you know, it's just, uh, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, but the key was that was that uh, our guys worked hard in, in preparing for that and making those plays. Uh, now, we didn't prepare for the, the fumble recovery for touchdown, but what, what, what goes on when you got guys, a lot of guys at the point of attack and the ball comes uh, open like that and you got guys flying around and then you execute, uh, then that's, that's winning football. So uh, just you know, really pleased with how sharp our guys played and just how hard and, and they just played really well together as a group, as a unit. We talked about a month ago when things weren't going so well, kind of the mid-season uh, skid, if you will, and you, you saw an opportunity where your team could finish with four consecutive wins to close out the year. Obviously, San Diego, your team came up a few touchdowns short, but talk about these last three wins at home, all three of them very convincing, your team really dominating, Campbell, Davidson, and Valparaiso in that order. Yeah, we just needed one thing, one bounce of the ball, one good thing to uh, to happen for us, but I think you know the big thing was uh, – uh, we, we just try to keep it in its simplest terms. Uh, stop doing the things that are, that are preventing you from, uh, you know, closing out a ball game. And uh, just just try to accentuate the positive and, and build the confidence in what we were doing. And we just knew that it would happen. It would it would come together. Uh, but we knew it wasn't just going to happen. You got to make things happen. So, you know, each day our guys went out. I mean, just really worked hard and they just tried to get better. and. I mean the tempo, the enthusiasm. I mean, I mean, you'd have thought that we were undefeated out there, you know. And uh, that's the way it should be, you know. Play the play, play the game, and uh, just the way they pulled from one another and push one another. Uh, you know, the unsung heroes and the guys be, um, behind the show, so to speak, are our red shirt guys and the guys that are on our service units each and every week. It's amazing how much they got better throughout the course of the year and how they pushed us and helped us get better. That's the difference. That's the key. And when you got a, uh, a, a whole team and unit uh, that work together like that, uh, good things can't help but uh, happen and, and come together. But uh, So there's not a, a more deserving group uh, uh, for good things to happen, to make things happen. Uh, so it's a lot of fun and you're very proud of them. Matt Ballard, the head football coach from Moorhead State, joining us now on MSUEagles.com. Coach, we'll get into the seniors here in a minute. wanted to highlight three sophomores who had outstanding seasons. On the defensive side of the ball, Jordan Hendricks and Dylan Blackburn, two of your linebackers with 100-plus tackles each. And then today, Reese McSherry, your starting running back, goes over 1,000 yards, and that hadn't been done since 2000. Your thoughts on, on Hendricks, Blackburn, and, and McSherry? Well, i tell you what, with Hendricks and Blackburn, uh, you know, you look at both of them, they both look like they play in the band or something. No disregard or disrespect to the band, but what I'm saying is they surely don't uh, look the part where they should be making all those plays and that type of thing, but let me tell you what. They play full throttle open, full speed with everything that they got. They're like that in practice, you know. Uh, 
they don't play a perfect game. They, they make a lot of, uh, well, I won't say a lot, but quite a few mistakes and errors. But guess what? It's amazing how many of them they, they cover up for and make up for just because of the great effort that they do. Now, the good thing is that they have gotten smarter, they have grown, they have developed, uh, and they have eliminated a lot of mistakes. And, and those guys know one thing. I'm playing wide open, and I'm going to get to the football. They just have that attitude. They just have that, that mentality. Uh, they shouldn't be able to do what they're doing, especially Blackburn. The wind blows, and he better be grabbing some because it's going to blow him away. <laughs> you know, but just they just give everything they got, and they just throw their body in. So uh, throw their body in there. So you just really have to uh, tip tip your hat to them. Uh, uh, Reese, I mean, Lord, have mercy. Uh, I mean, what what can you say about the guy? He's stepping into a starting role for the first time. Uh, he and we a very very slow start in the run game. Uh, but you know, we had a ball game where we didn't run well. We didn't run the ball very often. Uh, I believe it was the St. Francis game. I believe it was. Uh, but we did run it well and effective. And we made the comment that you know we should have run it more. And we can run it, and we're going to run it. We got to do that for us offensively and for our defense. And when we did that, it's amazing how it, it uh, took off because guys. Uh, got confidence and that really started growing. Uh, Reese, I mean, he's like a little flea. You know, he's not bigger than a minute. He can't run out of sight in a week. But how many guys, I mean, how many off, How many times do you see the first guy tackle him? Very few. He makes as many guys miss between the tackles and out there of any guy that I've ever seen. Uh, I think he's one of the most exceptional runners as far as making cuts of anybody that I've ever seen. And he just plays so hard and great effort and gives tremendous second and third, fourth effort. His feet never stop. Uh, but I think Reese will be the first one to tell you that, hey, it's the guys up front. And it does take both. You got to block well on the perimeter. You got to be committed and, and sustain your blocks up front. And then when you got a guy like him that's got such great feet, vision, and uh, making the right cut, great things are going to happen. So it is a tremendous accomplishment. I mean, you can take a handful of guys in the whole history of this university that have eclipsed a thousand yards, and now you got the young man from Bull County. That's that's pretty special. You've been at this for 19 seasons now. You've coached a lot of very accomplished players and classes. Probably one of the more accomplished classes is this senior class, 13 Eagles today. You probably don't want to think about this moving forward, but playing their last game here at MSU. I know you're proud of all those guys, Coach, but the class certainly was led, at least statistically, by quarterback Zach Lewis, wide receiver Dante Sawyer, and your specialist Rainer Duzan. Your thoughts on those three in the class as a whole? Wow. I mean, what, what incredible three guys. and how they worked, how they grew, how they developed, and what they've accomplished. I mean, uh, to go over 10,000 yards uh, passing is pretty rare company around the country. Uh, Rainer Duzan can stand there and say, not only one of the best here, but one of the best in the country. And then for Dante to come in and do what he's done uh, speaks for itself as well. And to have those three guys with the type of people that they are, how hard they work, the student of the game that they are, how hard they train, I mean, they're, they're the perfect example of what a student athlete should be and what a leader should be for your football team. All three of those guys are captains. And, uh, you know, you're just so proud of them. You're just extremely happy for them. And then the cool thing about they're such great team players, which is the cool thing, and everybody pulls for them. Is, and, you know, these guys haven't done this by themselves. It took the guys up front. It took the guys around them. Uh, but it's pretty cool that they have taken great pride and have worked so hard, and they have excelled in their area and, and uh, have accomplished something very, very special. The final score on Senior Day at Jane Stadium, Moorhead State 76, Valparaiso 24. Head coach Matt Ballard, congratulations and thanks for your time. Thank you.